Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff and this is 7th part of our Instack blog app and in this video we will start to work on retrieving the post and if you like the tutorials you can do subscribe and if you want to connect with me you can follow me on the Instagram as well link will be in the description box so let's start uh, with setting some properties to our recycler view first so over here M recycler view dot set has big size and will pass here true and then M recycler view dot set layout manager new linear layout manager and will pass context here so main activity dot this okay so in our activity main we have this recycler view so now we need to create one layout to display each post so for that I will click on layout uh, resource and then layout new layout resource file and I will name it as each post and I will hit ok so I will press alt ctrl l to format the code and this height will be wrap contained and will set the background so that will be color white and we'll add one card view over here so card view and width will be match parent and height will be 360 dp and we'll set again background to this that will be color white and let's just constrain it to this side and we'll provide 8 here margin from left will be 8 and from the top as well it and inside this will again uh, create one constraint layout so constraint layout match parent and match parent both and we'll set background to white sorry and inside this we will start to display our content so first will be image view sorry circle image view uh, let me grab some image from my assets so this eclipse and I will need this rectangle so I will just copy them and I will paste it in our driver folder so circular image view this one and let's put height and width as 50 dp and let's provide a src to it so that will be clips and let's provide it id as well so id will be profile pic And I will just constrain it to this side as well and to the top so we'll provide margin from here as 8 and from the top 8 so this looks cool and again we can add text view just after this to display username so text view and wrap content wrap content and this text will be username let's provide text color so this will be black and text size will be uh, let's put 17 sp and again we can provide it id as well so id will be username tv and we'll put it over here constraint to the image view and again this top one to the image view as well top of the image view and we'll reduce this to 16 dp and 
or you can constrain this one to the top and let's increase this to the 16 dp okay it's nice now again we need another text view so for that i will just copy this one and i will paste it over here so this will be date and the text will be let's put any date here so 31st 12 2020 and let's decrease the size to 12 sp okay so we'll drag it over here and let me just remove its constraints this one as well and this one will be to this circle image view and this one to the username okay so now we need one image view so from the design i will just drag on image view and i will select our rectangle this one constraint horizontal in parent and width will be match constraints of course and we'll constrain this to the circle image view and we'll put margin of 16 dp okay so its width will be 220 dp okay so up to this we'll require one caption text again we can just copy this one and I will paste it over here. Let me just delete all the constraints and we'll change the ID to the caption TV. And I will drag it over here, constraint it to the left side and 8 dp scroll and to the top as well. And this will be 8 as well. Let's just change this text to caption. And we can decrease this to 15 SP. Okay, cool. So below this caption will require one vector asset. So I'll click on drawable new and vector asset. Click on clip art and search for favorite. We'll select this one first and let me name it as before light turn next actually we need this in gray color okay click on next and finish and we'll drag that over here We'll put it over here and again we'll constrain this to the left and to the top of the caption text 8 dp as well and from here 16 dp okay and let's just change uh, this height and width to 30 dp and this height will be 30 dp as well So 8 dp from left and 8 dp from the top and again we will require one text view so we will grab it from this one and this will be like count tv and we will set the text by default as 0 likes and again we'll just decrease this to 13 sp we 
we'll constrain this to the heart and we'll put some margin of 8 dp and we'll remove this constraint and heart so the 8 dp so we'll decrease this to 16 and we'll make this as 5 Again, we can just decrease this to 8, I think. Okay, so now it's cool, and we'll increase the size of that text view to let's say 15 SP. Okay, so I think we need to change uh, this ID. So this will be post image. Actually, it's already exist. So we'll name it as user post like button. And now the last thing that will require uh, another image view. So let me just grab it from here. So the comments on, and I'll paste it in the drawables. And we'll drag one image view over here. That will be this. And we'll constrain this to this text view. Put it down over here. And we'll constrain the top to the text view. We'll decrease this to 16 and you can add margin from bottom to this one as well so 8 dp is more i think let's provide 5 okay so this is our design uh, let me change the id of this comments comments post Let me just uh, decrease uh, this to 5. Okay. Okay, so now this is cool. So that's it for the design part. Uh, let me just close the main activity. And again, we'll require one model class. So new and I'll hit on the package. Write model over here. And uh, inside this model, We'll have one class that will be post string variables as image user and caption. Let me show you why we write the same name in our add post activity. So as you can see the field name was image user caption and time. So make sure you are writing same name over here and again we will require the date variable so private date that will come from java.util and let me name it as a time. So actually we have already set all the values so we don't need setters over here. So I will just generate getters and I will select all of these click on ok and that's it now i will just close this one close this one and i will need one adapter to retrieve all these data so click on new and new package this will be adapter package and inside this we'll have new class post adapter of course this will extend to recycler view adapter Start adapter and inside this we need to pass some generics so before that we'll create class so public class and this will be post view holder and this will extend to recycler view dot view holder and we'll press alt enter to create constructor and we'll pass this inner class over here so post view holder 
and we'll press alt enter to implement some methods okay so we got three methods we'll implement one by one so first of all we need to create one list here so private list and this will be type of post let me name it as m list and again we will require the context so private activity we'll name it as a context and we'll create one constructor for this class so post adapter and inside this we'll pass the context so activity context and then list post and m list so this dot m list equals to m list this dot context equals to context and in our get item count we'll write m list dot size and we'll minimize this method over here so now what we'll do we'll collect all the widgets that we have we'll collect all the widget uh, that we have in the each post or before that we can just inflate the layout so just create here one view so view b equals to layout inflator dot from and we'll pass this context dot inflate r dot layout dot each post and then the parent as a view group and we'll pass here false attached to root and then return new post view folder and we'll pass this view over there and inside this inner class we'll declare all these widgets so we have the image view we have two image view i think no one two three four four image view that we have so first is the profile pic and then we have the post pic and comments pic and one is the like pic so actually the profile pic should not be here so just cut it and circle image view i'll paste it over here and i'll put semicolon then we have the text views username date caption and likes so post username then post date then post caption and then we have likes so post likes so that's it for this video in the next video we'll extend this we'll find all the ids and we'll retrieve all this data and we'll set this data okay so do subscribe and thank you for watching